QEMU does not natively support CPU core pinning. One way to assign CPU cores to your QEMU virtual machine is by using task set. So let's open our initialization script. And uh, here in front of QEMU system, we'll say task set. And because uh, we'll have to enter a bit mask for our processor cores in hex, we'll type in 0x and we'll need the hexadecimal number. So if you wanted to assign only the first core, let's say on a dual core CPU, you would say 0, 1. 1 being the first core, 0 being the second core. If you wanted to assign both cores on a dual core CPU, you would say 1, 1. Only the second core, 1, 0. So you start first core starting from the right and going to the last core going left. This is Ryzen 5 1600, a 6 core CPU with 12 virtual cores all together. So if we only want to assign the last 6 cores, we would do something like this. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So 6, last 6 cores, and then the first cores would not be assigned to the virtual machine. So 6 zeros. So, and we would convert it to hex. We would copy that and paste it to our initialization script. Okay, we would save that. Close it. Now we can launch our virtual machine. So our virtual machine is up and running. And uh, let's see what cores are being used. So let's see what process this is. PS grep QEMU. Okay, so the process number is 5920. And to check it, task set dash C dash P and the number 5920, the process number. And current affinity is 6 through 11. So last six cores are being used for our virtual machine. Okay. So let's see what happens when we run a stress test on this benchmark. I mean, a stress test on the virtual machine. We'll run prime. And let's see. System monitor and last six cores are running at 100%. The first six cores are basically not doing anything. So that's, uh, I would say, a pretty simple way of CPU core pinning for your QEMU machine. It's not completely like core pinning because these cores still could be used by the, by the host machine. They are not completely isolated to the virtual machine. One way to isolate them is by using uh, in grub, you can say ISOL CPUs equals and the CPU, the numbers of those CPUs you want to use. The problem is it doesn't seem to be working very well. It's, at least for me, I keep having issues with it. So it uh, still, the host still uses those cores under certain circumstances. So it doesn't work that great. So I wasn't, uh, I didn't present it in this video, but if you want to try it, uh, what you would have to do is if you go, let me stop this virtual machine. Stop, you don't need to run the stress test. So you would go to, You, you can use VI or let's do get it just so we make it more accessible. Uh, so etc default grub 
and you would add ISOL CPUs equals and you would do something like 0, 1, 2 and so on. Yeah, the problem is that it doesn't doesn't really work very well. So I I wouldn't use it, but if you want to, try it. You'll see how well it works for you. Yeah, so that would be it for uh, CPU pinning in uh, QEMU and I'll see you in the next video.